Donald Trump's former lawyer slash fixer, Michael Cohen spoke to the Washington post this past week, where he said that the ongoing investigation in New York into Donald Trump and his businesses, uh, is basically akin to the president, uh, getting the legal equivalent of a proctological exam. In fact, he called it quote, a proctological exam of the highest order. And he's not trying to make any kind of inferences from that. What he's saying is that these prosecutors in New York are looking in every single nook and cranny that the president has to offer much like they actually do. If you ever have any kind of colonoscopy or other rectal exams, yeah, they're pretty dang thorough because they have to be. And that's the point. That's the point of this investigation. Yes. It's very thorough because it has to be so far, <clears throat> so far in the last few weeks, we have seen multiple different subpoenas issued and they're not just looking at properties in Manhattan. Now we find out they're looking at some issues possibly over in Chicago. They're looking at some at the, uh, seven Springs in New York, outside Manhattan, these prosecutors and the individuals that they are talking to, these are, are, are going well beyond what anybody thought this investigation would do. And as I've said before, there's two possible possibilities for this. The first one could just be the prosecutors, investigators are grasping at straws that they have so little that they're trying to find anything. Well, whoa, what if, what if we look at Chicago? What if, what if we look over here at seven Springs? <clears throat> Excuse me. That's uh, that's one possibility. Another possibility, the most likely possibility is that with the treasure trove of documents that they recently got, they've gotten new, I guess you'd call them leads. They've seen new avenues that they need to take. They've uncovered new names of individuals they need to go talk to. They've uncovered new schemes that they didn't know were there or different offshoots of schemes that they already suspe uh, suspected to have existed. So yes, they're looking in every nook and cranny and it could be just because they're on a wild goose chase, but most likely it's because they're uncovering new evidence that is taking them deeper and deeper down that rabbit hole. And that's what we want. Listen, if Trump did nothing wrong, if this investigation totally exonerates him, fantastic. We can all stop talking about it and we can move on to something else. But if it proves that, yeah, this guy's been breaking the law for a long time, his company has been breaking the law, his kids been breaking the law, then yeah. Those are also things we need to know. So regardless of the outcome here, this investigation is necessary. This investigation is warranted. And this investigation, to be honest, really is just beginning.